Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning, party. So what is going on here, huh? What is this all about? This is like the closest I think you guys have ever been. Is the bed not big enough for both of you or what? <laughs> you got a snuggles? Now this is like, well, I just like snuggles all the time. I was wondering how long it would take before you shifted there, Shelby. And that's what I thought. So I was like, I don't like it when people lay on top of me. It's ridiculous. Oh, we're getting up. We're moving around. We're getting ready to take Shelby over to the vet. You ready to do this? So we got this. We got this. We're going to get rid of this big old nasty thing on your foot. That's what we're going to do. We got this. All right, we're here, we're in the room, we're waiting to talk to the doctor. Um, Jamie stayed at the hotel with Memphis to make this a little less chaotic. So we're here and we're waiting. All right, so I'm back at the hotel. Came back to fill Jamie in on what's going on. Drop shot we off. Um, we didn't really talk about it much uh, the other day when we found out, but I got an email from our vet. They looked at Shelby's blood work and they, long story short, they think she might be in the early stages of kidney disease. Not kidney failure, kidney disease. I think I talked about this yesterday. So anyway, um, this doctor said very minimal. They're gonna do another urinalysis and another blood test while she's here and kind of check over everything. The specialist down here said, even if it is, it's like, our doctor said probably stage two. This doctor's like, maybe stage one. So we will be doing like some dietary changes for her just to make sure, but they're gonna do some more checking. But for the surgery today, our doctor was kind of worried about them putting her under, making sure that they know she's gonna need extra fluids and stuff. My phone's ringing, I gotta go. Spam caller. So anyway, they're gonna make sure that she gets extra fluids and stuff like that. They're gonna start her surgery shortly and now I can update you on all the things she's actually getting removed. We haven't really talked about some of them. She's getting, her paw, which was the big thing. She also has a small lump under the base of her tail that they're gonna go ahead and remove. She also had another tiny lump, probably a hair follicle cyst, on the same leg that she had the paw tumor on, so they're gonna go ahead and remove that since she's under. And then she did have another little eyelid tumor, which she's had on the other eyes, and um, we weren't gonna have anything done about it, but like this morning, her eye was all red and stuff. I think I talked about it when we took her to the vet the other day. So they're gonna go ahead and just remove it since she's gonna be under anyway. And those are all the things that are happening. Memphis, what are you looking at? What are you, what are you, what are you looking at? You're looking outside? She's like, what, and this thing, what are you doing? Jamie and I both, both brought our computers so we can keep ourselves busy all day today. Show me your awesome hoodie. Like I like that one a lot. Memphis is like, hey, pet me while you're at it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that one. Into the am.com code Snowdogs Vlogs for 10% off. I guess I should show you mine too. So they were like new designs. Mine's all rainbow colored, but I really like I really like the one I got you. I like the oranges. Mm. <laughs> Memphis is just like, please, please, could you pet me? This is kind of weird because the moon. If you really look at the photo, the moon sets in the middle of the Earth. I know it's it's. It's just cool though. I like. I really liked the colors on it. Oh, it's not bad. Same thing. Yeah, same thing. I like it. I like that color on you too. Memphis's tail. Memphis is like, please just pet me. She's like, I don't understand why the other dog hasn't come back yet. I don't like it. She's been very needy. Very needy. So anyway, we're just kind of gonna hang out here. I don't know. I'm gonna look out this window and see if you can tell. Everything here today is covered in a little bit of ice. They have an ice storm that's supposed to end at like, it's supposed to end hopefully by three o'clock. So hopefully it'll be over by the time we leave. But up at home, they're getting pounded with snow. So it's gonna be a wicked ride home, right? Sure is. Wanna look out the window? Look out the, you gotta look out the window. There's a window here. You can, okay, wanna look out the window? I know that's what you want. It's like, oh, I like to look out the window, guys. Yeah! You can even get right up here in this window if you wanted to. <laughs> All right, now we get to play the waiting game. No matter where I sit in here, the lighting is always weird. Hotel lighting is always weird, no matter what. Um, So we just got a phone call from the vet a little bit ago and Shelby's done. She did really well. He thinks he got like, what did he say? He believes he got like 95%, if not all of the tumor out of her paw, which is awesome because 
that was the big thing. And then the other few lumps that she had, he removed those as well. But he said that the one in her paw, it took him a long time. It was a lot of work. There was a lot of little fine detail, which we kind of knew was going to happen. And he thinks that the best thing is for her to spend the night there on some IV pain meds and some IV fluids just so that she's not in a, so they can keep an eye on her, make sure she's not in too much pain. So they're going to keep her overnight, which means we're kind of stuck here, but we were kind of going to be stuck here anyway, because there's a massive ice storm, like just a little bit north of where we are, which we probably didn't really want to drive in anyway. We were hoping to be out of here earlier in the day, but I think it's like 4.30 or something now, so realistically if we left now we'd be driving home in the dark in the freezing conditions and the freezing road conditions. So what is your problem? I know dad ran out to the car to grab some stuff, you're fine. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, um, we're gonna stay the night here and go pick her up first thing in the morning and head home. So that is our little update on Shelby. It sounds like everything's good. Sounds like he got a lot of it. He was very confident that he got a lot of it, said she did really well while she was under and everything went really good. So that made me happy. Did that make you happy? She's like, no guys, I kind of want to go home. I kind of want to go home too, but it's probably safe if we just stay here one more night. Yeah, one more night. So apparently we got cabin fever and decided we had to go outside. Yeah. But we're outside and Flint, you should wipe the windshield. <laughs> All I see is speckles. Uh, we're in Flint, and Jamie and I were just discussing how they don't have fresh water here, how the people here can't drink their own water. Hey look, there's another Halo Burger. Are we downtown? Do yeah, we even know where we are? Yeah, we're, we're on Saginaw Street, and this is actually a brick road. Yeah, it's a brick road. The lights over the road looked really pretty. There's a couple really big buildings. It's kind of dark but you can kind of see them. But we thought the road looked, look at this old church. St. Paul's Episcopal, look at their downtown buildings. Mm, that one's all covered up. They cheated. <laughs> These are some old architecture style buildings though. It's crazy, this is a brick road though. It's probably been brick for a very long time. <laughs> Memphis is back here. <laughs> She's confused as to why she's the only one in the car. She was also confused as to why she was the only one in the hotel. That was another reason why we had to get the heck out of the hotel. Yeah, there's some old buildings. Some of them are restored. Some of them are not yet restored. I have no idea. That looks like an old hotel. Yeah. Kind of neat. Yeah. Don't hit this car. Mm -hmm. There you go, look at that building. Huh. Anyway, we're driving around Flint, because that's always a great idea. Right. First National Bank. Whose idea was this? Whose idea was this, Memphis? Yeah, we're going to go over a bridge here in a second. Over, over the river the, with the water that we can't drink? Yeah, probably. Uh... <laughs> oh yeah, next light, there's a bridge. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Riverfront School of Management. Is that what this University is? University of Michigan. Oh, this is the U of M. Flint. Yeah, Flint. S yeah, University of I Michigan. Staff, or just slash Flint. There's a building right next to me. It's like their. Yeah, so it's the Flint. Their section of University. U of M. Oh, hi, Memphis. Here's the river that they're pulling the water out of that nobody can drink. A giant puddle. Woo! That water too, probably. Ready? All that. You can't see the river, but the river's down there. Underneath this bridge. Right. Don't drink the water. Oh, there it is. Ew. Gross. <laughs> hey, look, I can go right. Flint, Vehicle City. Alright, All right, where are we going? What do you think, Memphis? You ready to have your sister back? We're ready to. Um, when we wake up in the morning, we can go get her. Get him! Who is it? Who is it? Who's here? Oh, do that again. Say room service again. <laughs> you didn't hear me. Mm -hmm. I said say room service again. Memphis was so confused. <laughs> she was like, what is going on? <laughs> and water. Okay, well, mm -hmm. we were just talking about how, um, we we're gonna go get Shelby in the morning and we're gonna go to bed so we can wake up and go get your dog. Right. Wake up and go get the dog. Alright, I'll let you drink some water. So yeah, they uh keeping Shelby 
We're getting ready to go to bed so we can wake up in the morning and go get her. What do you think, Memphis? What do you think? She's like, I don't know how to think about having this much bed space to myself. It's going to be weird. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're going to call it a night so we can go to bed and wake up and go get her. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was like we were in a hotel all day because we were. Anyway, as always, you guys, thanks for watching. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Tomorrow with the Mrs. Selby. She gonna have stitches all over. She ain't gonna be able to play, but at least she made it and she's doing good. We'll see her in the morning. Good night, audience. If you love our huskies, come along for the ride. All you have to do is hit subscribe. Follow as we share our lives with our dogs and join our adventures on Snow Dog Vlogs.